All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to test the factory performance of these windows on the Cybertruck. We're gonna go ahead and test how dark the glass is, how much UV it blocks. So from factory, this window's at 83%. It is blocking 100% of UV and blocking about 81, let's say 82% of actual IR, which is the heat that you feel. Let's go ahead and go back to the back glass and see how different that is. It does come dyed or smoked from factory. So it is gonna give you a little bit different reading than the front. So let's go ahead and get that tested. Uh, they are at 25% from factory, 100% UV and 95% IOR. So these windows perform very well on their own, but we're gonna go ahead and maximize the heat rejection by installing our Ceramic Pro. So let's go ahead and teach you how we get that done. Now it's super important that we protect these panels. We don't wanna get any water inside of the LED or inside of the leather paneling here. So let's go ahead and uh, now go about getting the full window. As you guys know who own Teslas, every time you open the door, the windows will drop or also go up into that seal. So in order for us to tint the full glass properly, what we have to do is trick the window latch. So what you do is you come into here and all you're going to do is push this in and that'll trick the window into the up position and that way you can tint the full glass. We're gonna go ahead and uh, set the film. Once the film is set, we wanna create an anchor point in the center so that way it does not move on us while we're creating those cuts. You wanna start off by just cutting your bottom edge here. Now we are gonna be micro edging this window as well. So the cuts, they don't have to be exact here. Uh, we, and we're not gonna curve these edges. We're just gonna go ahead and make sure that we file those. So once we've uh, cut the film to size here, what we wanna do is just go ahead and raise it off the glass slightly. And we're gonna push all the fingers down to the bottom so we know what it is that we need to shrink. If you look closely, the window's pretty flat. There's not a lot of fingers that we have here. We could probably get away with no shrink on this, but what we're gonna do, we're going to do a quick little snap shrink. We're gonna lift that bottom edge here. And we're gonna just make sure that we pocket shrink this so that way it curves to the glass. And the lift. Lay down, and then we're just gonna go ahead and uh, shrink that bottom. So what this is going to do is just gonna make that film fit a little bit more snug to that bottom edge. There you go. That's how you shrink the front windows on a Cybertruck. just use my easy reach here to go ahead and pop open that seal to allow the film to slide through we're going to go ahead and create our tack here in the center as well as uh, just lock in that top edge and the way i like to squeegee is go ahead and create your t you're going straight down and then you're going to go out to the sides what this does is it just prevents as much water from going behind this door panel as possible so essentially you're just pushing it outwards instead of going towards the inside there okay now again this is going to be our first soft pass just to make sure that we get all of that moisture we're going to go ahead and grab our hard squeegee here and now we're going to do our final pass to extract as much water as we can you want to make sure that you're going in overlapping strokes and at a slight angle downwards so that way you're not letting any water stay in that film. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to apply some heat on that outer edge. What this is going to do is just gonna seal those edges. 
So that way we're able to file this without any issues. So go ahead and grab your, your squeegee there with your towel. And what you're gonna do is just pretty much seal those edges, extract any water that may be up in those corners. So once we have the film in place, now we can go ahead and start filing these edges for that perfect finish. Now, if you have excess film, what you want to do is just simply go ahead and cut it off. This will make your cuts a little bit more manageable. You won't have to worry about, you know, anything flopping backwards. On this window, something that we just discovered is around the window where it seals, there's some uh, inconsistencies in the way the glass is put together. You'll see that uh, here, it does, the film is not laying flat just because on that outer edge, there's uh, some, I believe it's like a glue. So whenever you're uh, essentially micro edging this, just be careful that you're not cutting into the, the window itself. So what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be using a file in order for us to uh, overcome that obstacle. So as we follow it, we just want to make sure that we follow it all the way through. All right guys, so when you're working on these small quarter windows here, what you wanna do is just uh, cut off all the excess so that way you get the film to lay flat. As you saw in the beginning of the video, we have already laid down our glass aid here. This will help us see where it is that we need to cut. Uh, there's a lot of room behind this, so you're able to uh, tuck in quite a bit of material. So we're just gonna pretty much follow this line all the way across. So now what we're going to do is, since we got the rough cut, we're gonna go ahead and take it back to our peel board to uh, trim up those edges. So here all we're doing is just going to uh, round off these uh, rough edges here. Make sure that everything is nice and round so that way we don't have any issues with the film peeling. On this glass here, as you can see, it goes pretty far down. You wanna go ahead and grab yourself a little extender for your path, really help you get to that bottom edge. Let's reach it, feel free to use your hand to get the rest of it. All right, so we're gonna be using our high-tech squeegee here to get all the way down in that corner. 
So once you've got your initial prep here, just gonna go ahead and spray the glass. Be careful not to spray too much on the top edge so you don't bring any contamination down. All right, so you wanna go ahead and just cut the film. And try to go all the way to that bottom. Be careful with this edge, make sure you're not touching any of the border. Slide that into position. Go ahead and spread it out. You wanna go ahead and make sure that there's no light gaps or anywhere around. Now, what I like to do here is just add a little bit of heat. What this will do, this will keep your film in place. So while you're squeegeeing, it's not gonna move on you. So now because of the heat, pretty much the film is going to be secured where you're able to comfortably squeegee out the water without the film shifting on you. So you do your initial pass, go ahead and go over it one last time. Make sure that you're extracting as much water as you can. All right guys, so now that we're finished with the sides, we're gonna go ahead and tackle this windshield. Now, this windshield is the largest production glass in automotive history, so we are excited to go ahead and get that taken care of for this customer. The windshield is about almost 60 inches high, and then wide, we're looking at about 64 inches. So let's go ahead and get started and show you guys how we're gonna go ahead and do this windshield. One of the most important things for these is you wanna make sure that you are protecting the electronics behind that dashboard. You wanna go ahead and use a soak rope as well as protect the dash here with some dash towels. So we're gonna be using a mixture of uh, our ivory soap and 90% isopropyl alcohol here because alcohol dries a lot faster than water. So that way the film doesn't stick to the glasses we're shrinking. Now, and we went ahead and cut it about 66 inches to have some extra. With the 60 inch roll, it barely has to be crossing that top. So there's not a lot of room there. The bottom edge is covered, so is the uh, top. So what we're going to do is just create a center tack, pull the film and lay it down. So now on this windshield wiper here, uh, there is enough space that does pass it. So we're just gonna go ahead and do a rough cut. All right guys, now here you have to be really cautious. Uh, you don't wanna make a mistake and cut it too short because then you'll have to redo the whole piece. Uh, you wanna make sure that you have enough gap here to get full coverage. Go ahead and start off in a corner, just get that roll started here. So when you're rolling, you just wanna make sure that you're going as even as possible, that that liner is not bunching up on you too much. Keep an eye out on those on that top section that's open, make sure that it's not overlapping too bad. So go ahead and guide it there. There you go. So now that's how you test a Tesla Cybertruck. So let's go ahead and test it now with the new film that we went ahead and installed. So come on and take a, a close look. So now we are at 6.6%. We have 100% UV blocking and now we are up to 98% IR blocking on the front windows. Now on the back windows, we are now at 1.8%. So let's just say 2%. We are blocking 98.2% IR. And again, this here is a 5% Ceramic Pro all the way around. All right, so now let's do it with this one. 
So as you can see, now we have these here at the double digits versus what we had originally. Uh, as you can see, it is blocking a lot more heat. You really can't feel any heat passing through. And you're, if you put your hand, you can't feel that. So definitely an improvement. Let's go ahead and go to the back door. So here, as you can see, we are now at the single digits. And that's with the factory glass with our film layered over it. We're between six and nine on the BTU meter. Pretty much with that, what that means is that the heat is non-existent. So this film did an excellent job. Thank you guys for watching. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one.